and welcome 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 back to another episode of Michaela loves gymnastics let me scoot back how you guys doing um this episode i decided to continue a series that was pretty popular on this channel and it was called the most luckiest or the most unluckiest gymnast of whatever era and today i want to do a new video to that series and this video is the most unlucky gymnast of this current era and her name is Michaela Skinner now I know why y'all saying Michaela Skinner she's not unlucky she's a successful gymnast but if you really look at her career she has been so unlucky in her career let's go back to when I first noticed her which was in 2013 her senior debut she was going to she was trying to make the 2013 world team so she could do her double twist and double layout and get it named the skinner well victoria morris was also performing that skill at the same time so it wouldn't have been the skinner it would have been the skinner morris or the morris skinner but martyr didn't take her to the world that she took brenda and so she never got the skill named after her even though she was technically the first gymnast in the world to do it and then we go to the 2014 cycle where to me it was her greatest cycle that she, i mean her greatest year as an elite gymnast she um had a successful national year and then she made the world team where she won the world team gold with the team she won a bronze on vault and she came in fourth on floor again where um she was kind of unlucky is that Michaela really thought and by her reaction to floor finals that she won another world medal on floor and Aaliyah Mustafina upped her difficulty for floor finals and ended up getting a bronze medal and she's unlucky in that instance because if we really look at the routine going back, I don't think Aaliyah beat her. It was just she was her performance was more. She Aaliyah is a better overall performance. She has better stance, better dances, better this, better that. But if we really go back and look at that world champion, Michaela Skinner came in third place on the floor. Like it, it is what it is. Then we're going to go to the 2015 season and Michaela got hurt. And the 2015 season really solidified her as the USA top alternate, right? So then we're going to go after 2016. She didn't make the 2016 Olympic team. They picked Gabby Douglas over her, even though she um, qualified, even though she, I wouldn't say qualified, she finished ahead of Gabby Douglas at um, Olympic trials. Martyr still picked Gabby over her. So, and Madison coached too over her. So then she went to um, the Utah for um, NCAA. And the thing with her in NCAA is I think she was kind of unlucky because they never watered down her routines to the point where she had to focus on Pointing her toes, keeping her legs straight, hitting full 180 degree split positions, completing turns, so on and so forth. So then she, in NCAA, she constantly was third, fourth, third, fourth, third, second, third, fourth, second, third, fourth, second, third, fourth. So then she went back to Elite in 2019 and made the world team as an alternate again again finishing ahead of people at the world selection camp and still end up being the alternate so then she became unlucky because i think in michaela skinner mind she was going to go 2019 because she did the 2019 ncaa season she was going to go to the worlds go to the olympics hit or miss finish off her ncaa career then COVID 19 happens and basically took away her NCAA career so now she's stuck being an elite gymnast and now why Michaela Skinner is so unlucky is from all of her talents from all of her success from all of her improvements 
Not only is she on the team with Simone Biles, now she's on the team with Simone Biles and Jade Carey. And if we're just going to be completely honest, this is no shade. She's not better than those two. She's not. She used to be the second most powerful girl. Now she's third, maybe fourth behind Jordan Childs. So, for my sweet friend, Michaela Skinner, keep pushing. Um, you are a dark horse for this Olympic team. Like, nobody has you on their pick. But you could make the team very easily, especially if you could clean that chunk up and um, do what you need to on floor. It just sucks. So basically, Michaela Skinner is unlucky because of the timing where she was born. She was born into an incredible cycle of gymnasts. And those are my opinions on Malibu, Michaela Skinner.